we want to evaluate the indefinite integral using integration by substitution. Now this type can be a little bit more challenging to recognize that it requires integration by substitution as well as what to let u equal. So it may be helpful if we factor out this two, we write this as two times the integral of one divided by the quantity five x minus one dx. Then looking at our integration formulas here, it should remind us of this last one where we have the integral of one over u with respects to u. So if we let u equal five x minus one, then du would be equal to five dx. Let's see what this does for us. We're letting five x minus one equal u, so we do have the one over u. Notice how what's left is dx and we have five dx. So if we divide both sides of this equation by five, we would have one-fifth du is equal to dx. So now we can replace dx with one-fifth du. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in terms of u. The two would still be here. We have one over u, and then dx is equal to one-fifth du. So we'll pull out the one-fifth, and then we have du. So we'd have two-fifths times the antiderivative of one over u with respect to u, which is natural log absolute value u plus c. But we need this in terms of x, so now we'll replace u with five x minus one. So we have two-fifths natural log absolute value of five x minus one plus c as our antiderivative in terms of x. We'll take a look at another example in the next video.